And moving to stories from outside Africa, the U.S. House of Representatives have backed the repeal of the 2002 authorization for the use of military force that allowed the war in Iraq. It comes as lawmakers work to withdraw the authority to declare war from the White House. The, White, the House voted 268 to 161 in favor of repealing the authorization. All but one nay vote came from the Republicans, although at least 49 joined Democrats in favor of a repeal. The measure must also be approved by the Senate to be enacted. On this vote, the yeas are 268 and the nays are 161. The bill is passed. Without objection, a motion to reconsider is laid on the table. Repealing the 2002 AUMF will defend Congress's constitutional authorities and our American democracy system of separation of powers. Under the Constitution, it is the Congress who has the sole duty to declare war. We must reassert that authority to decide if and when our country goes to war. This repeal is also possible because of the leadership of President Joe Biden, who understands and has respect for Congress's constitutional authorities. And he understands the need for this action to keep our troops and the American people safe. Again, that is our first responsibility. Would have no effect on any outgoing military operations in Iraq. In fact, leaving the AUMF on the books, only thing that it does is risk inviting future administrations to try to stretch its legal authority and bypass our, consti our, Congress, our constitutional obligation to make decisions on matters of war and peace. We cannot allow this outdated AUMF to be used as a blank check for future wars. It is long past time for Congress to reassert its constitutional role in authorizing and providing oversight over United States military action. I urge all my colleagues to support this bill and I yield back the balance of my time. I'm all for updating this thing, but to completely do away with it and just give this president Article II authorities to do whatever he wants without any congressional review, in my judgment, is the wrong step forward. This short-sighted and purely political effort to repeal the authority without a replacement sends the wrong message and will embolden the Islamic terror groups and the world's largest state sponsor of terror, Iran. I urge my colleagues to vote no on this bill until we have a viable replacement that addresses the threat of Iran and its proxies. Ladies and gentlemen, I understand where this is coming from. I deeply would love an AUMF that replaces this the right way, but this is the wrong process and the wrong order to do that. So I would urge my colleagues to join me in opposing this. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.